All right, um, this video has been so hard for me to film. Oh my god. Okay, so basically this video is gonna be a video of me talking about me. Alright, so first questions are about YouTube. So first question is, why did you take a break? Are you okay? I took a break because I wanted to work on myself. Usually when I take breaks, it's because I'm just losing myself and I just need to work on myself. I can't pick up a camera. Like I literally mentally just can't. I just start crying and I feel like I have to put a face on every single time. And so that's why I keep taking breaks and I don't say anything. So I apologize for not updating you guys on when I'm taking a break or anything on on that like i'm so sorry about that and i will try my best to let you guys know when i take a break and all that stuff and yeah my mental health just hasn't been okay i've been all over the place i've been such a mess and i just want to be real with you guys i'm not perfect we all have our own insecurities and we all are learning things throughout life and i don't want you guys to think i'm perfect and think that i have everything in place like everything i don't know how to explain it but i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to like under like say what was the reason you started filming videos for youtube and has anyone made fun of you for it yes people have made fun of me for it um since the beginning i tried keeping it private because i didn't want anyone knowing about it and people did make fun of it in fifth grade and so i deleted those videos that's why you don't see videos of me in fifth grade deleted those because people made fun of me but in eighth grade was when people made fun of my youtube channel a lot more literally like people would play my videos all the time in front of everyone and that was when i hit a thousand subscribers so i started getting a bigger audience and people just started being really rude to me and calling me like and all this stuff when I didn't do anything like I was so shy and also the reason why I started YouTube was because I at that time like it was like 2015 and Alicia Marie was such a big youtuber like she was such a big influencer to me. she was someone that I looked up to a lot in fifth grade and so she was what motivated me and also I wouldn't stop talking to myself in front of the mirror so I was just Will you ever start posting twice a week? Um, I don't know. I really want to. Maybe this summer I will, like, one on this channel and one on my vlog channel, but we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on my Instagram, so go follow my Instagram if you're not already. So, yeah, another thing I struggle with is ADHD and social anxiety. I don't talk about this. This is going to be so hard to talk about. Okay, so starting in elementary, I have always um, been crazy. Like, not crazy. Like, I wouldn't stop talking. I wouldn't stay still. I wouldn't focus. The thing I struggled with the most was focusing. And, yeah, just all of that. Emotionally, I was so bad. Like, I would cry every single day. I was so dramatic over everything and that just started in like pre-k i was like that since little and in third grade i failed everything i failed all the tests all the end of course exams because usually it starts in third grade and i failed all of it i failed the whole school year and the teacher would tell me that i was gonna fail to my face even before i failed and so i believed her and then guess what happened I failed and that's why I'm a sophomore and I'm 17 that's something that people ask me and I hate talking about like ever since I repeated third grade I just lie about my age sometimes because I don't want to go through that talk I just don't like talking about it because people always call me dumb for it but it's something I had that problem and I don't know how to change it and so what I did in third grade was go to the doctors and then the doctors checked me and they diagnosed me with ADHD and ADD and so I had to go on prescription pills for school so whenever I went to school I would take those and I didn't like them because one I lost my appetite that's part of the reason why I became more skinny because I it wouldn't let me eat I couldn't eat at all and second I could I was so shy that's part of like another reason that I am shy now because I feel like I got social anxiety because of that like I was never like that and now I am ever since I took those prescription pills so yeah but I did focus in school yeah I did so much better in school but it brought so much worse in my life than now I have to go through and work on and it's just so hard for me now keep in mind I don't take the prescription pills anymore I stopped taking it in like 
sixth and seventh grade because I, it, there was just no point of taking it anymore because I started doing good in school. I just didn't want to take it anymore. There were t there were times where I would literally just hide it or I would cry because I didn't want to take the prescription pills. It was just not something that I saw that it was doing good for me mentally. It was just doing good for me in school. There's a lot of people out there that probably has been through the same things and now is called dumb for it, which you aren't if you repeated a grade. Like, you're so smart. You, you don't even know the potential you have. Like, the billionaires that are living on this planet right now are the ones that failed school, that didn't do good in school, and look at them right now. Like, you have so much potential. Your grades don't determine who you are. You're not alone if you've probably been through the same thing, because this is something I struggle with and I don't like talking about. Anyways, yeah, that's what I struggle with, and social anxiety, like I said. Um, I've struggled with that since I've like, been on the prescription pills, and I don't know why. I think, yeah, maybe it's that but i've been trying to get better so much and it's just been getting worse and worse and worse like whenever i'm in public i just feel so i feel like everybody's watching me and i feel like it's just so awkward i don't know how to explain it like i can't talk to a waitress without thinking it's awkward or looking around i have to keep looking around because i just can't look at somebody in the eye that's why like when i film videos i just keep looking around i can't focus either it's lately it's been so hard for me to focus like especially in school and i don't take the pills anymore i just i don't know i don't know. i was about to like go film this video again but i'm not i can't stop crying every time i watch myself i don't know why i'm gonna stop talking about this stuff because i feel like i'm just sounding dramatic at this point i don't want you guys to think that about me so i'm gonna shut up this is so hard Okay, so I think that's it for this video. I did talk some more. I did answer some questions. There was some more that I just decided not to edit. I just don't want to put it in this video. So um, I might do an updated Q&A, like another Q&A where I just talk about my life. Because um, I don't know. Let me know if you guys want that in the comments down below. But yeah, stay tuned for my next video. It's going to be like a vlog um, with someone. If you're not following my Instagram or my TikTok, you guys should go follow it. And you guys will know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, hopefully this helped many of you guys. And hopefully you guys understand. I didn't want to come back on YouTube with just, like, a random video after a break that I didn't even talk about. So, I just wanted to talk about my story and so that you guys also know that and that I help other people out there. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.